I think this will be the first dragon fruit to open. And then we've got two buds went bad over there, but that one's going to make it. There's those, that one, those two. Look what I found. I don't know if they're opening up or closing. There's a lot of pollen in there, so they're probably closing up. Now this one doesn't seem to have a lot of loose pollen. Hmm. Now where did I put my paintbrush? Oh, it's around the corner. Let's see what can we get? Yeah, there is some pollen. It's probably too late. I don't know if they're opening or if they're closing. Just that it's so overcast. They don't know if it's day or night. Be nice if I could get some more dragon fruit. this takes. Anybody else over here? There's one that bloomed. You have no idea how big these are. And that's not even fully opened. And here's this side. I'm over by the hothouse. Look at all that have bloomed. All that are going to bloom. Oh, it'd be nice if just half of them set fruit. And I got those that are blooming. The other ones aren't putting out buds yet. But they don't always bloom all at the same time. That's the one I, I hand pollinated. Oh, look at that. I found all my bees. I'm going to have at least one pollinated. Oh, and they've got their pockets full. Julie Silversmith, here's your hive. Well, I'm going to feed. And here is where the dragon tree starts. And it sends out aerial roots. And then they go down to the ground. And that's where it gets more of its nutrition. I have no idea when I planted it. I've got like eight different colors of epiphyllums. And unfortunately, they're done blooming. Or at least, the pink is done for now. The white has done it. And it sends out aerial roots, which I do mist and spray fertilizer on.